Hi guys, um, it's me again. Um, so today I'm going to be in a few updates like what I haven't told you. So first of all I just thought I'd show you the little den I made for the pigs. So they've got like a tea towel on top, just makes it look nice. They've got their box and then they got their bed which as you can see um, a lot of guinea pigs won't share. Um, most guinea pigs like to have their own bed but because mine are so so close, they're sisters, they've been to another home, I got them from the rescue and they are so close and they, they sit in here and they share their bed and cuddle and it's so cute um, and yeah and they're also getting on six seven years old and most piggies live from like around five to seven that's the age that they get to um, so they're quite old and soppy now and as you can see they love their little bed and yeah so that's that in there I guess it's like a little bit of a hutch tour too. So you just got that and then that thing. They got a litter tray now. Well it's not really a litter tray, it's just the place where I put the hay. Because if I use a hay rack it all goes on the floor. In their favourite chair all time. And then they're just bear and the food bowl and some toys and stuff along here. So um, this is what I was going to show you guys. So it is a guinea pig pom-pom, or whatever you call them. Um, so I'll put the links below of like the videos which taught me how to make them. Um, Cavi love of something something, so it's really good. And um, this is a crappy version, <laughs> but it kind of does the job. And it they haven't played with it yet unless I put food in like the middle. Um, so yeah, um, I just learned this off YouTube. It's really easy to make. Um, I just use crappy pyjamas like material instead of proper fleece because I only have a couple of fleeces and I use them all so I wasn't going to cut any up and I'm not going to go buy a new one just to make one pom pom or whatever because um, it's a bit of a waste so yeah and because I use pyjamas it's like Passend on one side but not on the other so that makes it also look a bit worse and um, there's a black cable tie there um, but yeah that's just the little thing I made for them and I think that's about it for these guys oh look at that <laughs> I'm also going to try and make Harry a hammock today out of one of these. Probably will fail, but yeah. So that is the piggies. Next, you kind of saw all this in my picture video, but like, um, well, I kind of like talking about it even more. So this is something I got for the ferrets. I got it in focus, and as they're having a closing day down sale, it's cheaper. And I thought it'd be good for ferrets because they like chasing sort of things like this. It's actually for a cat, and um, I think it was like five pound. It was like eight pound originally, but I say I wasn't going to pay that. Because it's literally just cardboard with some rough carpet around it. And they can scratch that for their claws. And if they can, they could try and climb it. And it's just got a little hole here, and I thought I'd put loads of old t shirts and things in for them to snuggle with for the ferrets. Um, and yeah, so that's that thing. Next thing is the run. I'm just going to go show you it and then come back in here and talk. Okay, so that's that. Sorry, I think someone's outside, so I'm just talking in here. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, I've painted it all wooden colour again, like the hutch and the shed is. Um, it's got the sheltered side around there. 
Um, we've also put a little wooden button on the lid to straighten it out because it was a little bit wonky. Well, very wonky actually. Um, and it's worked as you can see it's pretty straight now. Um, and I also remeshed it instead of chicken wire. It's now got a 19 gorge inch by half inch galvanised wire mesh. So it's nice and safe and no foxes can get to it. We actually have foxes that live in our garden. Yeah, um, they never come in here though because of the dog. So I like to keep things extra safe. Um, so now they can go in that and eat the grass and things. And I also might use it as part of my ferret setup um, and get a new run for the others. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much that. It's like seven and a half feet long by three foot wide. Um, and I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really nice for a homemade run anyway. Um, yeah, it's homemade. Um, oh yeah, and the mesh was like £20, I think. Something like that, um, uh, which I think is good. And sorry, it looks quite neat, but really it's not. I just shove everything behind here where you can't see it. <laughs> and I've got all this wire mesh left, and we're going to, need to be doing the shed door too, like with that, because if I get ferrets and they escaped, if it had chicken wire, they could get to the rabbits, which I don't want. <laughs> 